And the park's grand opening tonight comes just about four years after we first saw plans for this, and the city is now saying this is something special that's going to continue to revitalize downtown Palm Springs. Three, two. Palm Springs Thursday night, breaking in its brand new downtown park. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Hundreds of people turned out to celebrate the grand opening. Mayor Christy Holstage calling it the Central Park of Palm Springs. We know that our residents are going to enjoy this park for decades to come, and we're so grateful to make this investment in our community. Just a block from busy Palm Canyon Drive, the park sits on one and a half acres next to Forever Maryland and the Art Museum. You can just like exit, you know, down the main street over two blocks, and you can be like having a picnic or sit under a tree or read a book. I mean, I think it's... It's the best thing they could have come up with. It's filled with shade, provided by dozens of palm trees. Benches and tables are positioned throughout. And public unisex bathrooms with an outdoor hand washing station sit right next to a new Palm Springs police substation, allowing officers a new downtown location to monitor the city from. And you've just got to check out this water feature here. The city says that it's inspired by the Taquits and Indian Canyons just at the base of the San Jacinto Mountain. And so many here tonight are calling this park an oasis. They say they see the inspiration drawn from the natural beauty of Palm Springs. Mark Rios designed the park. We really tried to look at what were the natural influences of this place. Water, the shade, the palms, the soil, the form of the mountains. And how do we take and make an experience out of that? Many waving signs with the face of Nellie Kaufman, who founded the Desert Inn in 1909, in the exact spot where the park is now. She kind of established everything that Palm Springs is well known for now. Um, and we just think it's fitting and sort of a no-brainer to name the park for her, the founding mother of Palm Springs. And in the park's new grassy amphitheater. Money, money, money. Must be money. The evening closed with a concert from ABBA tribute band ABBA Fab. You can dance, you can jive. A community gathering place and something new to enjoy in the heart of downtown Palm Springs. A lot of fun here tonight, and the park, which was originally estimated to cost about $7.6 million, was paid for in large part using Measure J funds. That's a city tax that has now brought in millions of dollars for improvements here in Palm Springs.